howdy doody sweet friends how are you irish timbo hails right as hello my goodness aqua star rage howdy doody Zuckerberg, hello, Triforce, Liz, hello, Emma, hello, Marill, hello, Mudkip, howdy doody, friends. Racer, hello? Flame Grilled Freak, hello, friend. Oh my gosh, Cleo Chemical, hello. mourn the loss every single day Sly really every day of my life <sighs> I'm gonna come on stream quickly you know why because I can hi also I realized that my fog's not here can't believe me I can't believe me didn't have my fog up yesterday that's fucked up but hello friends how are you happy freaking Tuesday today's gonna be a very long day <laughs> but it's gonna be great it's gonna be a fun stream Irish thank you thank you thank you thank you I, um, you want to know how neurodivergent I am? I have two outfits for today because this outfit fits with Silent Hill 1 and then my next outfit fits with Subnautica. <laughs> so, you know. Yo, Emma, let's go. Thank you. Take that growth measurement outside. Oh, no. Sorry. My God. I'm not a outfit. It's just like more blue toned. <laughs> That's it. Faye, hello, good morning. Narwhal, hello. Laurel, hello. My goodness. Oh, hello. There we go. My my mascara got stuck to my lower lashes. <laughs> Big Melic, good morning. Labia, hello. My goodness. Hello. Hi, friends. How's everyone doing? Yo, Reaper Leviathan, could you imagine if I brought out, like, a big freaking Reaper Leviathan cosplay? That would be nutty. That would be nutty. <gasps> so, Daisy, thank you so much for the beautiful tier one six months in advance. Woo! And happy eight months. Let's go. Can I get all the love and hype, Jad? Thank you for taking advantage of those extra September discounts because that's the good shit. Let's go, baby. Thank you very much. I had a great night's sleep for the first time in weeks. I'm feeling amazing today. That's fantastic. I love that for you, Busty. I absolutely love that for you. That's fantastic. I, um, slept okay. I slept okay. It was not terrible. Could have been better, but it wasn't terrible. I, um, I'm really excited because I've got some of Max's homemade zucchini loaf today. Gift phone week is the last week of September. I believe so, yes. Yesterday was a birthday and it was a birthday. Let's go! Even with like no sleep, I don't feel horrendous today. 
Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, Max makes some fucking incredible zucchini loaf. I'm very, very excited about it. Mm -mm -mm. I need to redo my nails. Oh, you know what's fun though? I um, I'm almost on my closet door, so I'll finally have both my doors back again, and I'll be able to see like the full vibe of the whole of the wall with the yellows, and I'm really excited about it. And Yugi is fucking screaming already today. I can hear him. Why? I don't know. I don't know why he is, but he is. Going into lurk mode. I'm so sorry, Fran. I hope your brain starts to cooperate later. Um, did you just drop? Are you fucking serious? I picked up one crumb and I couldn't even get it into my mouth. We'll be fine. <laughs> Monkey, hello. Triforce, hello. I'm um, a hi. Hello, pals. I'm oh, Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, Fox, thank you so much for the 15 months. Let's go! Because of this. He's excited like I am low. It's, it's it's true. It's true he is. Also, Narwhal, I feel like choking on water is more tragic. Unless you spill it onto your clothing if you've missed your mouth with food, then that's more tragic. Secondary, good morning. Jay, good morning. Choking on water sucks ass. It sucks ass because it sticks with you. Choking on water stays with you. It's horrific. It's horrific and I hate it. It's awful. Ugh. Do it like three times a week. I'm so sorry, bestie. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. My lordy. Mm, that's what it, it is offensive. It feels like a joke. Exactly, Sly. Speaking water, true, true. So, I could probably tell you guys what we're gonna be sponsored by later today. Speaking of hydration, you know it's really, really exciting and makes me feel really, really proud as a person. When Yugi, for the love of God, hold on. This is his fault that he's making me wait to find out. Why are you being so loud? Shut the hell up. Come on. Come on, Bubby. Come on. Come on, Bubby. Come on. 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 Come that we did last year. And uh, we're going to be sponsored by Britta again later today. Which I'm really proud about. Because they wanted to run it back, baby. Yes! And I'm really stoked because we're playing Subnautica. And I'm really stoked because I'm just going to build a bunch of water filtration machines. I do also love water. I also love Brita. It's literally the first thing. I'm not sponsored yet. But it's literally the first thing I buy. <laughs> when I move. <laughs> so, like, when I get a new place. I've always bought a Brita first. Always. Every time. I like my chats like I like my water. Filtered. Oh, baby. I mean, I'm not going to say anything. But you also can not, not say anything. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing over there? I love this song, God. Silent Hill 1 music is so Twin Peaks coded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh God. <clears throat> Sorry, my brain is back flipping. Back flipping. Oh. I have three Brita water bottles now. 
like a day every day. That's cool. The silent one track on Spotify. I don't think so. Unfortunately, I don't think so. Which is very sad. Everybody, I'm so happy. Like it really? That would have been sick. Happy world suicide. Because nobody else got even close. <laughs> I got Ashton, thank you for the 29 months. Let's go. Have you ever seen live streams that were invented for camping? I have. I have seen those. I have indeed. Thanks, cuz. I believe. Holge. Holge. I'm looking. I'm perceiving. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got- I'm gonna have a link later. <laughs> in the car. Have a wonderful lurk in the car. And also, Fluff up. hello! Yo, the filter bag things are absolutely wild. I think so. I think they have an initiative for that as well. Doing a new thing at work. Ooh, oh my gosh, exciting. I hope. I hope it's exciting. It sounds kind of exciting. Break up the monotony a little bit, maybe? Hmm. No. No, thank you. I don't want their live show. That's still one of the first things. Ethan and I, when we exchanged numbers and we were texting for the very first time ever. The very first time ever. The first time we ever spoke one-on-one -on -one to each other. Like, outside of, like, stream or whatever. He had brought up on his own that he can't believe that he drank his own piss. So, just need you to know that. That was also years ago. It was, like, fresh off of the Unisonis vibe. It was, like kind of right after it ended. Like, <clears throat> Ethan and I became friends, like, right as Unisonis was dying. Oh, God, Cole, I'm so sorry. Have a lovely lurk, God. Also, it's very... very Hello, what are you doing now? He's just being a weirdo. This was Ethan Lore I didn't know. Oh! No, oh, Unisanis wiped clean some things that they have done. Never forget pee, Sana, guys. A friend of mine drank his own piss once. He also did a personal sauna in his own piss as well, so. I'm never letting it go. I gave him a hug multiple times after this occurred. Every time I've hugged that man, it's been post pee sauna. Hmm. Huh. No spoilies for what? We're playing Silent Hill 1. I just don't want you to spoil anyone to spoil anything for anybody in chat, so I have no spoilies up. I know everything, but I want people in chat to not be spoiled. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't torture that information. They made a YouTube video. They made a YouTube channel and they did that shit. They posted the videos. They're gone now. But they did that for content. It's been posted many showers. It's very true. I hate watching a video. Mm. Are you really a person you never. Well, I like to think I am. Tell me drinking my piss would you Lunchbox? I'm so sorry. But I don't know how to tell... How do you tell people that piss is how you filter bad shit out of your body? Like, I know you can drink it if you need to, but how would it have health benefits like that? It's literally filtering shit out of your body. That's how you get rid of it. Your kidneys and then you piss it out.
Have you not heard? Hank Green's yelling about pissing out cancer? But Chris, mm. I see. I see. See, I'm all for people doing whatever the fuck they want if it's to their own bodies. Everybody. But I'm god damn it. As soon as it starts to become like medical misinformation and dangerous, that scares me. Isn't it technically for I you know what? There's a lot of things that piss is, but it also just removes ickiness. Crunchy white people do anything but take ibuprofen. Yes! For the love of God, why? You are too curious. You literally had had unfettered access to my goddamn fucking office for like a week and a half. Unfettered access to my office a week and a half. I close my door, suddenly everything is new again. Suddenly, he needs to explore the whole goddamn place. I wanted a piss buddy, oh my God. Not the piss, buddy. Not piss, pals. New door, new room. It looks the same from the outside. <laughs> also, depending on what kind of crystalline rock it is, that is actually not always harmless. <laughs> Some crystals and rocks are not good for you to consume. <laughs> mhm, mm the door is yellow now. Mhm. Mm I love it a lot. Please don't pick up and eat rock. Yeah, no, don't do that. Please don't do that. Please, please don't do that. I'm going to fight Canada Post. Oh, me every day of my life, bestie. Oh, bestie. Every day of my life. Are you kidding me? Sorry. I'm literally gonna throw myself into the sea. This fucking co This fucking company claimed Music on my Silent Hill 2 VOD. They claimed a section where there is no music at all, and there is just silence, and then James speaking in the in-water ending of Silent Hill 2. They claimed that. I disputed it, saying there's literally no music playing. This is the ending of Silent Hill 2. And they said that their copyright claim is still valid. Can someone else look at it? What do you fucking mean? Brother, are you serious? You better be fucking joking. Still valid my fucking asshole. Oh, if I had the time, bitch, oh, I would fucking ruin your goddamn life. Sorry, I just got an email saying that they fucking suck. They suck. Can a fucking human look at it? Please. Please. What the hell do you mean? Ineligible monetization. You fucking loser. Fuck you. I just real I, I just found out that if they reject me again I get the copyright strike, but I can get like I think three of those in 90 days without my account getting fucked up, so literally suck my balls. How fucking dare you? I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm so mad right now! I'm so pissed off. <laughs> Genuinely angry as shit.
Oh, now I get to yell about it more. Serve the same purpose. What? How do I say it's not in here? You're copyright claiming a ending of Silent Hill 2. This song is not in this video at all. The section being claimed is literally an ending for Silent Hill 2 that has no music at all. I'm just gonna paste that in every section. <laughs> What is the nature of the copyrighted work? There is nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. This. <laughs> No, <laughs> my content is a playthrough of Silent Hill 2. Is there any other information the copyright owner should be aware of? I'm literally playing the game. <laughs> of the in water ending of my play through please remove it <laughs> are you fucking serious oh that's the first time i've ever had to like really go at somebody like i'm not crazy i need to go back to that It's literally now I understand the real reason I came to this town. And then silence. Now I understand. Please listen. Please listen to the section that they've claimed, my sweet friends. Ready? Ready? Now I understand the real reason I came to this town. I have Hold on. Bracer, thank you for gifting that sub to uh, Sasawi. Okay, ready? We're still, we're still claimed. I wonder, what was I afraid? Okay. Still claimed. Without you, Mary. Yep. I've got nothing. Mm-hmm. Now we can be together. That's it. That's what they claimed. They claimed that that. James, a car tires screeching. And then that. That is what they claim, that section. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, what are you claiming? Car tires? Did you sample the end water ending in your song, you fucking loser? Oh my God, that's my biggest thing is fucking dumbass goofball assholes who copyright, like who sample songs from like video games and stuff and then copyright claim them. I'm like, no. <laughs> You took that from this. I'm playing this. Anyways, I can't stand them. I can't stand them. They piss me off. They piss me off. And now my video is in escrow. Fuck you. Also, another thing that really pisses me off is when people do covers of Akira Yamaoka's stuff and then copyright claim it on my fucking video. And I'm like, I'm listening to Akira Yamaoka's fucking song. You just fucking did the piano again another time. I will punch you in the throat. Ah! Sorry, people make me grumpy dog. Anyways, sorry friends, had to deal with that. Rake! <laughs> Thank you for the 10 gift subs after me screaming. Let's go. Guns and shit. Oh my god. And hey, oh my god. Look at People do that all the time. All the time, dude. How can you have two moods? How can your two moods be a actual ball of sunshine and also kicking the entire world's ass? I don't 
Dude, if I get a copyright strike on my fucking YouTube channel for having the in water ending on it, I will scream. You walked into a rant, yes, because someone copyright claimed the in water ending, saying that I was playing their song. And then when I disputed it, they said it was still valid. So they can actually suck my balls. Hi, Banana, what's up? I'm Frog Guy, hello. Aaron, hello. Everybody I've missed, I'm so sorry. I had to rage for a while. Oh, Timbo, thank you for a copyright strike uh, that gives up to copyright strike. Appreciate it. You have more than five copyright strikes overturned by appealing you. You should be blocked from filing them. You should be! It's so goofy. Like, sometimes I'm like, alright, fine. Yeah, like, there's some stuff. Um, there's some stuff that's like... Um, composition strikes and I'm like that's fine that's the actual people I'll just like erase the song because YouTube has that that's a new thing where it'll just like erase the background and keep like what's above it and I'm like that's chill with me um oh <gasps> banana do you like them thank you um we showed during the clip of your rant from yesterday oh, I need to do we have a clip of him watching my rant because I kind of want that really bad Um, I know you sent it to him, by the way, because I woke up this morning to a fucking picture of, like, a close-up of, like, a pocket mirror, like, a little, like, pocket, like, powder mirror with this faintest, faintest fucking Misha Apocalypse fi picture. I like the Knowing Memory that works in a haunted town that tries to warn everyone and no avail in So I tried to- yes. Yes. He sent that live? I literally said, you fucker, because this morning I was looking at my phone and I literally was like, what? And then I realized that I did the exact same fucking thing that that old lady does in the meme. And so I called him a fucker and said that that's exactly what I did and sent a picture of that old lady. Oh, first man, I know that much. I know that much. Ugh. I want to see... I his reaction to my yelling. <laughs> Thank you for giving that sub to FU Copyright. I love that. We love that. Thank you very much. Now I just get to scream for a while. Please don't fuck me. Thank you. You fucked me. Son of a bitch. What? What? Oh, I genuinely don't give a shit anymore. God. <laughs> My VOD channel lately has been just pissing me off with how many weird copyright st stuff is. And YouTube all the time now limits the ads on my videos. And then I'm like, excuse me, can you look at this again? And 99% of the time they're like, oh, you're right, this is fine. I'm like, then stop flagging it for the love of God. Summary of last night. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? I mean, I do want the clip, but oh my god, why? Jordan, what the fuck are you doing, bud? It's so wild because this is like to me, like so wild. It's like so, it's so dated, you know? Because I, I lived it. I'm like, am I, am I going nuts? Like, what is this? <laughs> What am I doing with my life? That, yep. Jordan! <laughs> Jordan, what the- I just spit so much. Jordan! Oh my god. I'm going to the videos. I want to go find it. Shh. 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 That was- No, what is this? Stop. No, videos, not clips. The whole, the whole broadcast. Holge. I can do it. Not necessarily, oh my god. Where was it? 
Was it in the beginning of the stream? A present for you. <laughs> Dan, thank you for giving this up to thank you for you by Incredible. Why is M here? Am I bald? I'm so confused. <laughs> I need to see the goddamn thing. Towards the end, like after game stuff? Oh, there's paranormal footage review. I sees, I sees. Oh, okay. I live so close to M and we have never met in person and it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Why is he looking at bare ass? I can't believe I'm scrubbing Jordan's VOD live on stream. Can somebody actually scrub for me and give me a timestamp? That would be so beautiful <laughs> because I need to get into Silent Hill soon. <laughs> oh my God. Probably. If someone can scrub that would be beautiful. Let's talk hello. Don't worry, I have no man because my allergies still hit me. I'm so sorry, bestie. Sure, wonky, whatever you choose to hear, bestie. Oh, during that time, I'm fairly touched by it. Mm. I, look, I don't wear it as a badge of honor, but I refuse to be, like, ashamed of it. You know, like, I was a super hulak bitch. I'm not ashamed of it. Because I was... A kid that had, at the time, not like a bunch of friends. And the friends I did have, for the most part, were the friends that kind of were shitty to me my whole life. And I had camaraderie on Tumblr. I wasn't, like, being one of the weirdos that would, like, at attack people over Super Hulak shit. That was never my bag. But I loved appreciating and feeling so much joy for something. You know? I enjoyed my time. Like, people who were like, oh no, it burns like a vampire in the sun whenever they were reminded of Super Hulak and their, like, cringy past. I'm like, no, bitch. That was fun. I had a fun time. That was a vibe. Tumblr was literally at peak. I made gift sets. I had such a fun time. Miss me with that shit. I embraced that shit. That was the weird wrestling Tumblr kit. I love that, though. Four hours, 47 minutes. Thank you, Frog. I miss that vibe. I don't think I'm ever going to have that again. But also, it did take up a lot of my time that I had because I was in high school. But, you know, we are cringe and free. Exactly. Also, I don't need your whole world. Welcome on in. Okay. 447. Na, 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 na. Come on. Always brought out the MS Paint photograph. I still, oh, there. I think this is maybe it. Come on. Come on. Four fifty six. Thank you. <laughs> Oh God, okay. We have to watch this now, friends. We have to watch this now. <clears throat> Lock back in. We locked out and then we got locked back in. We're going over, um, uh, what is this? What is this? <laughs> you think the Misha apocalypse is your ally? I was born in it, molded by it. Every time I see that picture, it reminds me that I have grown up to be, I've grown up and now I'm an adult. I was trying to see, I didn't see the light until I was a man. Why was Ashley talking about this today? <laughs> Wait, what did, <coughs> why was Ashley talking about this today? I know why I was, I was talking about it because of this. And that's what he fucking because said me. <laughs> you all brought it up. Oh no. Beautiful. I'm sending this to Ashley with no context right now. It's super late over there, but it's 2.34 in the morning. 2.34 AM. <laughs> just, 
That DM, no context. Yep, horrible. <laughs> you think the Misha apocalypse is your ally? I was born in it, molded by it. Every time I see that picture, it reminds me that I have grown up to be, I've grown up and now I'm an adult. I was trying to see, I didn't see the light until I was a man. I don't know, I don't know where I'm going with this. Me. I lived it, bitch, okay? I was in Super Who Lock, all right? I've been there, I've done that. I watched people make cheese dresses for the fucking gish with fucking shit. <laughs> the <laughs> fucking what? <laughs> yes, dress? I brought more lore into his life. Yes, let Jordan look up gish. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Right, I've been there. I've done that. I watched people make cheese dresses for the fucking gish with fucking shit. I was there. I was there during my formative years. That shit is the reason why I am the way that I am. <laughs> Do you understand the fucking turmoil that I went through mentally when I was scrolling through my server list and I saw that fucking picture? <laughs> it was beautiful. <laughs> Sorry, I just really needed that. Thank you. I really needed to watch that. I really needed to watch that. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> uh, Lampsy, that's called acting. <laughs> oh, Liz, it's great. Also, it's so funny because it's like, why was Ashley talking about this? And it's like, I was talking about it because it was brought up, but you know. We, I feel like, talk about it, like, so frequently on my channel. Man. You can just tell what was my formative experiences on the internet. <laughs> oh, we just go forever? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Basil, I love that. It's still going on, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, Supernatural is actually in the DNA of this channel. Also, wait, that's Detune, Jordan. Oh my God. I didn't, I didn't expect anybody in here to not know Jordan. Jordan's incredible. Jordan does like live paranormal, um, like it's uh, paranormal investigations. Jesus, my brain did not remember that word. And they're really cool. Cause I did one of them as well with Kat and Mika. It was very fun and scary. It was weird. I would love to do another one. <clears throat> But yeah, I saw and felt some shit that night. That was a wild time. You see the new emote? Oh god, no. Oh hell yeah, Vey, let's go. It's Jordan. Oh yeah! It's Jordan. I would love to go back and do one that's like in a like in a house and not like a giant area like last time because there was like a lot we didn't get a chance to do everything that we wanted to i know that jordan does a lot of like um like side quests and stuff but there's literally just so much land we couldn't do like any of them uh during hours just it literally like we did like about eight hours overnight and it still was like we didn't go everywhere that we could have like it literally was just so much so freaking much Need to do a location that's loosely based around Supernatural. That'd be very funny. Yeah, ours was like a... Yeah. Basically like a little town. It was wild. I had fun. Yes, I had fun. It was spooky, scary skeletons. Though. I totally... Believe it or not. I Believe me, don't believe me, whatever. I totally saw ghosts that night. 100%. I heard it and saw it. And Mika also heard like the very similar thing that I heard from the other side of the house and we were not close to each other. Like I heard 
the unmistakable noise of like a big swishy dress like swishing along the ground and I looked to where the noise came from and I literally saw like so there was like front windows and there was some light coming in because it was nighttime the moon and just like there's some lights just outside um very sparsely but some um and it was like the silhouette of a woman with like her hair up in like a bun and she was like peeking around a corner so I couldn't see like her face or anything but I just saw like a woman peeking around a corner none of us looked like that and I could see our guide right there. The guide was right near me in the room that was right here. The woman I saw in a dress was at the very end of the hallway. So like the guide was in like a dress that wasn't that like to the ground long, but like that's not what I heard. <laughs> it was wild. And then Mika said she heard the same kind of like dress swishy noise, but she didn't see anything. <sighs> you and Sammy would be a great pair. <gasps> I would love, I just need to hang out with Sammy. Also, I have a lovely lurk and work bestie. Such a creepy place. Oh, gross. I feel like I've heard of that. The Waverly Hills Sanatorium. <laughs> See, there's like um, a couple cool places around here that I would love for Jordan to be able to go to, but I don't know if he would be able to get his setup properly up here with like the internet Wi-Fi stuff because it's very weird up here. It's getting better for sure, um, where like unlimited data and stuff is a lot more common, but yeah. Nice. Special under his hand. Place along with the Queen Mary. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Queen Mary would be a cool one for Jordan to go to, but I feel like it would be kind of weird and kind of boring just because it's in use, so there'd be a lot of people around. Um, so I don't think it would be even really that possible. The Sequels of Wizards of Waverly Place, Drac. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, the Winchester house, bro. Could you imagine? That place kind of actually genuinely freaks me out a little bit, but you know. I just now they don't have to worry about too much. Nice. I just got unlimited data recently. So it's been my. Oh, nice, nice. <sighs> How about the Donnelly house? People currently live in the house. It's supposed to be insanely haunted. I try to stay overnight in the barn and they never last. They only have God rich. What? That's not. That's not what. Where are you? <laughs> Toronto and Ontario Ghosts and Hauntings Research Society. Wow. Hi, Linda. How are you? Where are you? Oh, it's by London. Okay. Yeah, that's not close to me, but interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Accidentally discovering God. Interesting. Interesting. Wow, fun. Fun. So many haunted places. So many fun and exciting haunted places, guys. <laughs> Good lord. Florida would be haunted. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, See, I feel like I don't... <sighs> I feel like I 
Is it weird that I would probably rather do another detour than do a ghost tour? I feel like that for ghost tours, they kind of freak me out as like there's so many people like I like a smaller group. It's like we can keep an eye on each other. <laughs> Entirely out of the question until winter months. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I also feel like for a lot of times they're all bullshit. There are some places who are more legit, but a lot of people have ghost tours that don't mean anything. When it is Seattle Underground goes to her. Oh, underground shit scares me. I can't do that. I am, I feel like I'm very claustrophobic. It's also peaceful you feel safe with, yeah. Also watching back the footage from when Jordan and I were alone in that house in the detour, um, It's kind of wild how calm I sound. At least I think I sound calm. Because I was not... <laughs> it did not feel great. Oh, baby, I wasn't. <laughs> Which makes me feel like I can fake it real well. But literally listening to myself, I'm like, dude, I sound pretty chill. I was not happy about it. I was not happy in that place. Really? That was an experience. Oh, damn. But all things that look like that creep fiction. Cannabis. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go, masking. I still to wander. Oh my god, that's wild. Are, they, are we really? I didn't know that. I was like, are they really? Like, I'm not. Diagnosed neurospice. I prefer the college was haunted. I've heard that a lot of like music halls are. Yeah, they. Pfft. No, that's funny. Okay, because I really want to beat Silent Hill one today. I'm gonna try to get into it like real soon. I am peer reviewed. I have a formal and informal diagnosis. Um. <laughs> but yeah, um, I am going to. Uh, yeah, be right back. Everyone be good. Be gay to crime. Get some water. Get up, stretch. All that stuff. Ashton, have a beautiful lurk. Goodbye. Good night. All that stuff. I, um, I will leave you with this. And I will be right back. Yes.
Hello, dear friends. I have returned. I am back. Are we ready? Are we ready to get into the game? Hmm? Yup. Okay. Hey! I'm stealing my balls. That's rude. Right, guys, let's go. Yes, resting comfortably. Yes, yes, I know. Call her William Abner because she always comes back. <laughs> no. Oh my God. That's the goofiest shit. Thank you, though. That was great. I have a present for you. Bella! Thank you for gifting that sub to Drac, I preach. Also, I just realized that I need to turn my Twitch alerts down. I don't think I did that yesterday. Yo! Oh shit, I also need to... I need to go... I need to go sicko mode. <clears throat> AKA IAM mode. This is the sound of my soul. Every time I post, which is so funny. Hello. All right, we continue, baby. All right, where are we? <laughs> All right. Um, we got to go back to the to the school. <laughs> Sorry, that's there. Don't look at that. Everything's fine. Is there anything around here? Oh no. I feel like I've never looked at that. Okay, Harold, it's dark as balls out here. Let's go. Okay, where am I going? I gotta go back to Old Silent Hill. How the fuck am I supposed to do that if there's no way to go anywhere? Oh. Things have changed again. Oh, right. Things have changed again. You want hard? I'm on easy because I'm not good with tank controls and I desperately just like going- I desperately- I desperately love- I just like going through these for the story. <laughs> Playing on hard is boring. I'll say it. You don't need to play on hard in these games. What are you watching? Art. Just tell them art. I kind of forgot that I saved right before a boss fight. <laughs> hey. <gasps> it grew up into a big moth guy. Hey, he spit on me. Don't spit on me. Sorry, yeah, this is uh, also a boss arena, but up that, those stairs. Oh Jesus, you're hurting me really badly. That's rude. <laughs> the hell did I ever do to you? Are you dead? What's happening right now? Stop, dude! Get, get out of my asshole! <laughs> dude, he literally sucks. Why are the bosses in this game so aggressive? You suck. You are an actual demon. But like, kind of literally. He just wants a lamp. It's true. What if I turn off my light? Will you leave me alone then? Yeah, bottle. Well, I also can't fucking see, so. Are you kidding me? How many 
freaking fracking... Jesus, I was gonna say, how many shots are you gonna take from this rifle, bro? That was on easy, dude. This is why I don't play this game on any harder difficulty. The monsters already take long enough. It's like, you know what I don't need? To spend more time than that on this. I just don't. <laughs> I just don't. <laughs> Anyways, let's leave now. And look it, we are free. We're free from our nightmare. Just like that. We're plopped back into the fog world. Go up the stairs so you can hit it. That's gross. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm so sorry. Hey, yo. Yeah, this is a game that I have no Michael Keaton, please. Also, did you know that he's apparently going to start going by Michael Keaton Douglas? Because his name is Michael Douglas. Found that one out yesterday. And I'm like, damn. Do I have to start yelling about Michael Douglas now if they're if I'm getting kicked in the back of the head by those guys? It's kind of screwed up. Killing giant bugs also frees me from my nightmares. Mm -hmm. Bella, yes, of course. And I can guarantee you it's probably not silly. Why is the bird Michael Keaton? Ah, yes. We described this yesterday. It's not silly because it is random. But um, he's like a bat bird man, those enemies. And who's played Batman and Birdman? Michael Keaton. Who has also uh, played the vulture, another guy with wanks, <laughs> Michael Keaton. <laughs> Michael Keaton Douglas, don't you dare. Yes. The three names makes it sound way more like I'm scolding him. He definitely needs a better vacation spot. And this is my favorite thing in this game, is that you get into Old Silent Hill. Vigan, thank you for the three months. You get in the Old Silent Hill and it just teleports you here. God, it's so beautiful. It's locked. <laughs> uh, hello. I've never, I haven't seen the nude Beetlejuice. Where he ate wings, exactly, Vike. It's actually Michael Keaton. Hmm, the lock is worn out. I might be able to break it if I hit it hard. This is, I wish they brought this back in any other goddamn game, dude. Go. I wish. That's cool. Karen, hello, how are you? Screw the lizard people conspiracy. What about the bird people? Well, what if I told you this game might have both? Oh yeah, no. Silent Hill 1, it's so easy to miss weapons. Do you know, even though you look right at it, how many times I've missed the rifle in that stinky boss room with the worm? So silly. I'm fine with what I got though, but yeah. There is a lot of weapons that you can get in this game that I probably don't even know about. Ah, lizard people! The lizard people of the sewers, they're after me. The lizard people of the sewers. Are you dead already? I did shoot you enough times. Many blessings. It's true. It's true, Banana. You're right. You're right. He's carrying a whole bakery. It's true. Horny croissant. That is such a beautiful username. Are you kidding me? Thank you for that gift sub, bestie. Holy crap. Shit. Did I miss the fucking map? I hate this place. Have I told you guys I don't like this place? I don't like sewer levels in any fucking game. Oh, you're not dead. Ow, and then you just grab my dick off. Hey, I know it's big and beautiful, but you got it. Okay, thanks, man. Are you dead? You're dead. Cool. Johnny, hey, what's up? Hey, look, rifle shots. I remember I picked these up and I was like, oh no, I forgot the rifle. That was like my last playthrough I did. They all, it's so wild how many creatures in this game are just at like crotch height. So they just stab you 
in the balls and butthole or like just like scratch at your balls and butthole like how dare you like that's such targeted poor harry here is getting absolutely rocked my soup can man yo is that what's good <laughs> Sure is a sentence to come to stream to, but that's all right. I would love a map, guys. That'd be so beautiful. Did I miss it? Probably, but it's fine. I don't ever remember anything. <sighs> Scratch my balls and butt. Well, I don't think it's nice scratching. It's definitely, there's blood. There's blood. I didn't miss the map, it's right here. Hooray! Skeletal was good. <laughs> Welcome on in. Oh, is a big hammer? There's a big hammer? I didn't know that. That's so funny. <laughs> uh, yup. Connecting to the resort area. Hello? Nope. Hello? There's a sewer key. Yup. And smash it with a hammer! About to go thieving? No! Ah! Stop it! <laughs> Jesus! Creepy little bastards? Oh shit. I immediately goofed myself. Hey! Stop it! <laughs> no! Leave me alone! This area is so gross and creepy. Oh, tank controls my beloved. Move. Please, sir. Is there anything over here? Literally, no. Are you shitting my balls? Not even like an item pickup? Now that's just cruel. We're just gonna run this way so I can go across there fast. Yup. No, I can hear their little weird lizard feet. No! No! <laughs> In the overall generator room. Oh, shit! I literally went in there and turned right around, so that's... Oh, you know what? No, I have gotten the hammer before. Because the hammer is, like, where he has the stupidest fucking, like, pose in the entire world. I think I can still get it, though. Can't I? When I have to go... I think I can find my way back in the generator room. Maybe it's not there anymore. But I do know that I have had it before. Because he looks so goddamn stupid when he starts to, like, wield it. Bless him. Bless his little cotton socks, you know? This area is confusing, and I don't like it. Ladder! Ladder, ladder, ladder. I think I have to actually... <clears throat> I don't know. Let's just try to get in here first. Why are all sewers always, like, dripping wet? Like like it was actively like full of water three seconds ago like there's no shot it was actively gotta find cheryl no time to go oh i'm sorry did i just go backwards don't even look at me guys <laughs> negative balls what does that mean do, 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 do. he does also, wait, why, why soup can? I mean, we did explain it yesterday. Um, it's because he's smuggling fucking sausage, dude. He's packing. Ruby, hello! How are you? Oh, God. Condensation? This much? That's what scares me. It looks like blood. Now there's little weird penis bugs. Get your weird little weirds away from me. No, thank you. Junk in the frunk, exactly. He's got some junk in the frunk. Hi, Max, how are you? Well, I'll see where... Hey, hey, get out of here. The condensation. Don't touch me with your weird little lizard hands. Don't touch me with your weird little lizard hands. Penis bugs, huh? I'm sorry, do you want me to kill one and then have it flip around and then I can show you what I mean? Because I'm sorry. They got some... Yeah, here, perfect. Perfect timing. Come here, weird little penis bugs. Let me show the people what's going on. Can you... F Harry, for the love of Christ. Harry, shoot them. Look at this. What would you call this, huh? Look at that. 
wiggling around. Disgusting. Nasty. Nasty. Ew. Found 400 first year, like last week. Nice. Good luck. Four is amazing. Um, until you're halfway through. It's kind of gross. Those bugs. Sorry. Silent Hill Four is also kind of gross though, but it's great. I like the story a lot, but the gameplay is just actual ass. <clears throat> but that game also scares the shit out of me. Silent Hill 4 is spooky, scary skeletons. I also just don't like ghosts, and I don't like the prospect of my fucking apartment being haunted, and I fucking can't stand that. It freaks me right the hell out, so, you know, vibes. Alright, you're all just... you're all just the worst. Oh, the sword mechanic? Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, the swords. So goofy. This is not the way. I think the game just crashed? Oh, the game just crashed, my sweet friends. Why would you do that? I don't know why that would just do that like that. We'll just have to redo everything I just fucking did again. <laughs> there we go. Come on. Okay, so now, fuck, go around this corner. Go down, around, 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 around. Okay. It's unlocked. Hooray. Good for me. Okay. Uh, just go so I can see. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh god damn it, dude. <laughs> Please don't be stinky. Oh, you're being stinky. I'm being stinky. Everything is being stinky! Stop! The sewer is the weakest part of every fucking Silent Hill game. Shit, I'm doing the same fucking thing again. Oh my god. Dude, I just fucking did this. I just fucking did this. The sewer in Silent Hill 3 genuinely almost makes me- Like, it is almost enough to deter me to not want to play the game. The rest of the game is just so good, though. It's such a fucking bummer. Like, I've played- I've played, um the the third one a lot and i dread the sewer section every goddamn time it's just so annoying well the sewer's quick unless your your fucking game crashes <laughs> I don't know why every goddamn horror game needs a sewer section. Silent Hill 2 didn't have one and it's beautiful. Don't touch me. Fuck off. Oh my god, I just don't know where I'm going ever. Please fuck off, dude. I can't. I'm already getting so pissed. It's <laughs> literally where I just came from, brother. No, this is mine. Thank god. It might have been, but also Silent Hill 3 is... Maybe it's just because of Silent Hill 1 it has a fucking sewer section that's annoying, but whatever. No. No, please. No. Get out of here. No! Can you pick that up? Harry, baby. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Don't touch me, please. I literally- I just need to- please stop. God, tank controls and my sense of direction make this is so hard. <laughs> but is the evil resident? Yes. I like to think yes. Hey. It's locked. Oh, you missed. You whiffed so hard. Freaking loser! You ever seen a lizard whiff so hard? What a goober. Don't touch me. Thanks. God, I desperately wish I played this enough to, like, really, really have it, like, down pat. 
where I gotta go, but... I unfortunately have not. Yeah, I knew it. I have to change doors. I love how many keep outdoors Harry is just ass blasting past. I hate this. Water. Take it. Yep. Bye. I mean, bye bye, guys. I always like expect, even though I know what happens, like I expect to get like pulled into the water or like just get absolutely shit rocked um, by like a giant sewer monster. But now I just, you just get, you just get got a little bit by those guys. And who even cares about those guys? They're just those little dudes. So whatever. Ah. That was so loud. What was that? <laughs> it looks, yeah, it does look like a micro boss. Yeah, a little mini boss. Vibe. Hey guys, there's so goddamn many of you. Holy crap. Bye bye. Please, I just need this. I need this so bad. Thank God. I just like, please, if it crashes again and I have to redo that, I will throw myself to the sea. Bye, sewers. We won't miss you. We won't. Mm -mm -mm. No, no, no. All right, this is another super fun spot. And by super fun, I'm being so goddamn sarcastic. Um, because the one time I did this, I didn't come right out here. I started walking away the other way. And I didn't get the map. And because it's so goddamn dark and I don't have a sense of direction, I could not find my way back here. I could not find my way back here to save my life. I think I was running around for like an hour trying to get back to that fucking map area, dude. It was rough, dude. Meg, hey, welcome back. Okay, here we go. <laughs> toilet bags, please. If I if my toilet backs up and I have to go into the sewers about it, no, I don't. All right, I'm gonna just like rephrase this again, just cause like, you know, I, this is my, this is my, I'm the bus driver. Let me drive the bus. Let me drive the bus. Let me tell people things. I'm saying no spoilers, no anticipation spoilers. Don't talk about it. Like, you know, more than me. Even if you do, I don't care. It's my bus. I'm the bus driver. And I am taking us to where we need to go. You saw the first half last year, now you get the second half? Hell yeah. Yeah, don't make me tap the sign. I am the Miss Frizzle of Silent Hill. I just let me just look around. And if it bothers you to watch me just wander around, then that's fine. You don't have to watch. Please don't. Michael Keaton, baby. Thanks, brother. Please don't touch me. I feel like I've never really run around in this little park here. This is kind of cool. Look at that fun little park guy. Interesting. Hey, can you fuck me? Don't. God damn it. My brain is melting. I have Michael Keaton up my ass. I've got a dog up my ass. Please. Give me in. Yes! Okay. So this is where we have to hunker the fuck down. <laughs> hey, Kaufman. Yeah, double tap that fool. Are you okay? Yeah, I guess so. But I'm beat. I thought I was a goner there. Yeah, you almost were, babe. So how'd it go? Did you find a way out? No, not yet. How about you? Zip. But it's too soon to give up. 
This craziness can't go on forever. Not the deep voice standoff. A military rescue squad should be here any time now. Why? Why? If they come through the town, we're home free. Why would a military rescue squad be coming, I babe? I hope so. I better get going. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like, wow, if this shit's this, this messed up, the military's coming. Our gums. Do you know a girl called Alessa? No. No further questions, Your Honor? Just no. Not who? Why? Not why? You just know? Okay. Interesting. Oh my god. Cam, hey! Also, who is this guy? He is the director of the hospital. What's this? Calf mess have dropped this. Looks like it's full of stuff. I've got a Kaufman key. I've got a receipt. 0473. Chat, remember that. The lock is jammed. <laughs> of course it is. Okay, hold on. We're going to save a couple times in here. Buzzfizz! Let's go! What a beer brand. Buzzfizz. All right. Um, I believe that's it for Annie's bar now. Um... Please don't crash again. Thank God. Jesus Christ. I'm scared every time. Okay, so. <clears throat> a receipt from the general store. So it says when you look at it, it's from the general store. So now we got to go and find the general store. And I think the general store is called, is the Indian runner. Unfortunately. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Get off my asshole. Dude, that hurt. Not the soup store, unfortunately. I got fucking jumped, dude. That's fucked up. Leave me alone! <laughs> All right, now you die. Now you get to die. Do you have a weird collar on? I forgot these fuckers have collars on. <laughs> There's just something about watching it just face plant in the distance that's just so fucking funny to me. All right, I think we just have to go down here and then we'll hit it. <laughs> Maddie, what's up? No! I can't believe they are wearing kink collars in public here. Wild. Hey, don't fucking touch me. Oh! Come here. Hey, I will yuck anyone's yum if they're doing kink in public, all right? Watch me. You can do whatever you want in the privacy of your own home. Yeah, open this drawer. We're fucking snooping. Harry is nosy as shit and I love him. Safe key, let's go. Clean boy, what's up? Am I so judgmental? Me? Yes. Do we have to have a pause conversation about how it's not cool to participate in kink in public who with the public that cannot consent to your kink and being a part of your kink because if a part of your kink that makes it exciting is being in public that means you are involving them in it i just need you to know that <laughs> i hope you're i hope you're joking i really hope you're joking right now What is this? Drugs? Damn, Harry. Harry got some drugs, baby. Shh. Sybil was fucking right. This dr this town does have a drug running ring. My God. Starfire! Happy 42 months. And then I can just keep opening it over and over again. What is this? Drugs? So, Kevin had the code to get in here. To the place that has a bunch of drugs. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. August 20th. Cortega, hey, what's up? 
He came by. I handed over the package that the woman left here. September 12th. He showed up at Norman's, too. Don't want to be involved with the likes of them anymore, but I'm getting creeped out even more than before. Thought of leaving town, but I'm afraid of what will happen if I do. Okay. Three loaves of bread, two or three cartons of milk, two dozen eggs. Deliver to the back door daily, 8 a.m. Rear entrance code 0886. Norman Young. So we got to go to Norman's. 0886, baby. Remember that, sweet friends. Oh, fuck. L yeah, nice of them to leave the keys to the drug safe right next to the drug safe, right? Um... Oh, the game just fucking crashed again, dude. What's happening? Oh, this this is the worst part to have a bunch of crashes because there's so many things that I have to do in sequential order. I'm also, I don't know. I don't know how to tell you this, but I have turned it off and back on again every time it crashes. I've genuinely never experienced a crash with this before, ever, ever, ever. I don't know what's happening. I've never had a crash with it. I don't know why it's crashing. It makes no sense. I also don't remember. Is it zero four eight three? No, zero four seven three. What the fuck was the code for this now? I hate this. Zero four seven three. God damn it. Oh. All right, God, we can at least do this quick and I don't have to read things again, again. Okay, Harry, be nosy again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Silent Hill 1 always has something wrong with it, and it's usually at the very beginning, and then we never have an issue again. But now, of course, it's being fucking annoying and goofy. All right, everyone, ready? Oh my god, drugs? Drugs. Okay. 0886. Beautiful. Drugs! Drugs, Harry. It's drugs. Okay, now we must go. I don't even remember where to go, dude. Oh my god, this is the fucking worst thing in the entire world. I don't remember what I'm doing. Um... I think I just have to go down this street. Fuck off. Stop, please. Oh my god, dude, I don't have time. I don't know when this shit's gonna crash again. I feel like every time I hit, like, B too fast, it crashes the game out. Or, like, closes it down. Like, there's something going on, I think, with my controller where it's, like, hitting the escape key or something, and literally, I don't know if it's crashing or if the game is just fucking closing down because... or, like, hitting, like, quit or something. You know what I mean? Which annoys the piss out of me. And now I just don't want to hit the B button. But I don't know how to fucking fix that. <laughs> it's something to do with Steam on my computer for sure. Which is annoying as shit. Hey man. Yeah, it's always Steam's fucking fault. Always. Hey man. Because I've done this before. Zero, eight, eight, six. Thank you very much. All right. Hi, what's going on in here? A newspaper. It's the same date as the one in the hospital. Investigation stalled. PTV dealers still at large. Suspicious deaths continue. Like the anti-drug mayor, a narcotics officer, dies of a sudden heart failure of unknown or origin. So there are people are dropping like flies that are trying to bust the drug ring in the town. People are getting murdered. Oh. There's a magnet. Take it. Nice picture. Lock is jammed. Awooga. Oh, God, yes. Another save point. Sweet baby Jesus. Let's go. Oh, it's so scary every time. Nothing special. Nothing special. They're really giving me a camera angle like it's special. There's a guest register. Nothing special written here. Brother, why are you giving me this then? 
Am I supposed to get like a key from here? No, you're just giving me nothing special. Weird. Actually, hold on, go back out there. Yas, haha, <laughs> yas. It's unlocked. Hooray, okay. So office and then Kaufman key. I think we're good. Not here. One of these. So Kaufman has a hotel, a motel. Oh, use the Kaufman key. So he's got a motel room. Which is interesting. Do you want to push the shelf? Yes, I do. What's down there? There's a crack. Something glints inside. The crack is too small to reach in. Good thing I just picked up this trusty fucking dusty magnet, dude. Let's go. Yoink. I got a motorcycle key. Oh, and some health drink in here. All right. Okay, so... What? What? Oh my god. I of course will be doing a Silent Hill 2 remake stream. 100%. I'm going to do it the day it drops. And I'm going to be um, playing the shit out of it. <laughs> I'm very excited for that. I think I get to the garage over. Oh, but I want to get to that over here. No. garage nope it's the side door i need to get into the garage which i think would be right yeah yeah hey yo oh hey look bullets oh a health drink i didn't even see that i'm looking at these shoddy shells hey a motorcycle an old motorcycle looks like it's been sitting here for years it's weird the dust is wiped away just around the gas tank cap hmm that seems suspicious. Use the motorcycle key. A small glass vial wrapped in a plastic bag. What's this? It's like the busted vial I found in the director's office at the hospital. Harry's being nosy again! <laughs> Give me that. What is this? Aggression. That's none of your business. Instead of messing with that, how about coming up with a way to get out of here? Hmm. Hmm. You shouldn't be hanging around here goofing off. It sounds like what do you I'm think you're doing? investigating a drug ring. You want to get yourself Kaufman. killed? Get out of here. Okay, take it easy. Unless you want to die, keep your mind on business. <laughs> Got it? It sounds like someone's in on the drug ring. Man, was he pissed. And in such a rush, too. I guess I wasted my time. Better hurry. I'm worried about Cheryl. You didn't waste your time. That is, in fact, the only way you can get the good plus ending of the game. What we did was we just locked in the good plus ending of Silent Hill 1. There is, in fact, no other way to get the good plus ending. I should go back in there and save. <clears throat> Yup. In order to get the good plus ending, you have to both pick up that red liquid um, that is in the uh, hospital, uh, smashed on the floor with that water bottle. Um, and you have to do that and have uh, Kaufman um, take, oop, take that vial from you. You have to find it in that motorcycle. How many endings are there for Silent Hill 1? There's four that you can get on your first playthrough, and then there's an extra bonus UFO ending that you can get on your second playthrough. So there's five in total. Disco deck, hello! Also, I know hello, everybody, hello. Um, okay, so uh, what do I actually have to do now? Right, we're going up to the... Yes. <laughs> we have to go up to the amusement park, which is down Sanford Street. Yeah. And then I gotta go. What? I think I immediately went the wrong way. I did. Jesus Christ, y'all. I really am bad. I'm literally the it it I 
It's a skill how my brain overthinks itself in circles in order to get to be wrong every time. Like, I will overthink a movement and it'll flip in my brain 30 times until it's just definitely incorrect every time. My brain cannot do that. Like, oh my god, it's ridiculous. I literally was like, okay, I have to turn this way. And I immediately turned the wrong way because my brain thought about it too much. Oh, giraffe, welcome on in. Yeah, these games, I have to live in the map. Silent Hill 2, much less so. What's this? Uh-oh. Oh. 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 <gasps> He's watching it happen for the first time. Uh-oh. Not again. No. This time it feels different. Rather than shifting from reality to a nightmare, this is more like reality becoming a nightmare. I don't like this feeling, like something bad will happen. No doubt, something terrible is going on. Oh, see, Drav, I've just played Silent Hill 2 so many goddamn times that I just, my muscle memory takes over. Like, I accidentally find the dead guy at the end of the alleyway at the beginning of the game. Every time, even if I'm trying to wander, doesn't matter. <gasps> Disco work point, let's go. I thought I saw a little, a little guy in that corner. Yeah, I just realized something. No, never mind. I think we go. I don't think I have to go down there quite yet. Silent Hill Ascension got an Emmy? It did what? Lakeside Amusement Park, why can't I? Not letting me go down there. Okay, I'm just gonna look at my head. Oh, fucking How? What did it get an Emmy for? Michael? No, Michael. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. I gotta go to this boat. No. No, Dougie, no. Dougie, please. No, 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 no. Here we go. Nice dead body on the wall. There's a body stuck to the bulkhead. Thanks, Harry. Maybe misspelled enemy. Sybil. Hi, Sybil. Hello, Harry. wife friend. How are you? How did you get back here? I followed the sewer. Were you the one who cut the fence? Yeah. I'm glad you made it. I was worried about you. You were worried? Where did you disappear to? Okay. Never mind. I want to know what's going on here. What is with this town? Cortek, have a beautiful day. This may sound really off the wall, but listen to me. You've got to believe me. Mm. I haven't gone crazy, and I'm not fooling around. Not fooling around. He's not fooling At around. At first, right. I thought I was losing my mind. But now I know I'm not. It's not me. This whole town. It's being invaded by the other world. They're so rigid in this cutscene, it's so funny. The world of someone's nightmarish delusions come to life. Little by little, the invasion is spreading. Trying to swallow up everything in darkness. I think I'm finally beginning to understand what that lady was talking about. Harry, hold on a minute. I don't get it. Look, I don't understand it all myself. I guess I can't explain it. Mm. Well, what's making this happen? I don't know that either. But I do know Cheryl is there. There. <gasps> there? Under whoever created this darkness. Cheryl is somewhere and she needs my help. Harry. This whole thing's been a major blow to you. You need to rest. Okay, so like... Sybil, 
I. Does she not see how fucked up the this place is, too? Is awakening, spreading those wings. Dahlia Gillespie. Hi. Was it not as I said? I see it all now. Yes, everything. Hungry for sacrifice, the demon will. Uh oh. No, it is crashing. Was it not as I said? Mm. I see it all now. Yes, everything. Dolly, Hungry oh for sacrifice, God. the demon will swallow Yeah, I don't know land. why the end is a tie shape. Why didn't they just square it off? I if they just squared it off, come. it would look like not a tie. The task is almost finished. I'm sorry. I'll stop talking over her. There's only two left. To seal this town to the abyss, the mark of Samael. When it is completed, all is lost. I think it's like a Even shawl that her like little veil thing is covering. Will cover the sun. The dead will walk, and martyrs will burn in the fires of hell. Everyone will die. All right. So Dahlia. what am I supposed to do? I've got to save Cheryl. It is simple. Stop the demon. Free hello. The demon, the demon taking that child's form. Stop it before your daughter becomes a sacrifice. <gasps> before it is too late. Stop it. Stop it. Hi, Diana. What do I do? Go to the lighthouse on the lake. And to the center of the amusement park. <gasps> Make haste. You are the only hope. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look, Harry. Oh? I really don't get what's going on. Mm -hmm. But if there's a chance we can save your daughter, I'm in. Let's go. I'll check out the amusement park. Let's go. You go to the lighthouse. Okay. Yo, she walks Sybil. with swag. Thanks. Also, I'm sorry, she has a gun. Where did you get that gun? Did you have two guns? She gave me one you gun. need to use it. Use what? The flowers. Only with that can you stop it. Okay. What about Sybil? What about her? <laughs> I love that. Uh, I don't know. I don't care. Bye. <laughs> Beep boop up. Where is that save point, baby? I live and breathe these save points today. I need them. I need them more than anything on this earth, please. That was such a long load that all scared me. It's fine. To the lighthouse we go, my sweet friends. Da da da. Nope. <laughs> nope. No, 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 you fool. No, that's the back of my head. He was humping the back of my head. Oh shit. Oh shit, I'm dying. I have been on a houseboat. It, it is the first time I ever felt, I think s trying to sleep on a houseboat literally gave me motion sickness. I feel like I don't think I had motion sickness until then. And then I had the most horrific motion sickness of my life and I've been m getting motion sick ever since. That's not where to go, Harold. Harold Mason, get over there. Harold Mason. Harold Mason, you are getting kicked in the head by Michael Keaton and you need to get it together, my love. Come on. Come on. No, get up there. Yeah, get up there. Let's go. Yeah! Woo! Lighthouse! Yeah, my body did not like that houseboat. I hate how much I have to save. <laughs> Really? It's awful. 
This is the worst thing to ever do with tank controls, by the way. Like, are you serious? This is hell. A spiral staircase? <laughs> There's some shit here. Hello, a little girl. Wait. I love how everyone is just like, Damn, I was too late. Bye. Oh, hey, hello, how are you? Oh God, now I gotta go back down the goddamn stairs. <laughs> Sweet Jesus Christ on a cracker. No, come on, Harold. Harold, please. Harold, don't go backwards. <laughs> Why are you going backwards, dude? All right, fuck it. We'll be fine. So, fun fact, before I got my disc scraped, um, that part right there, coming back down, I believe, from the lighthouse. Oh. Ah, I love a good teleporty. Sybil hasn't come back. Uh-oh. Anyways, that's where my disc would crash. That creep's sure to show up at the amusement park pretty soon. Mm-hmm. That creep. be on time. Anyways, um, yeah. It's thankfully fine now, but... Sometimes you just gotta get your little disc shaved. Oh, Draft, that'd be sick. I love a spiral staircase. I love a spiral staircase in games, but any game without tank controls. No, no. Are you shitting my worm dog? So fun fact, the dogs now um, all just have worms for heads. Their heads are just a bunch of worms. Just a bunch of worms, dude. All right, Harold, let's go, babe. We're running and we're running. Yeah, just like the worm guys in Elden Ring, yeah. Would you still love me if I had a worm head? Would you still love me? Why can't I make it to this fucking amusement park? God damn it, all the piss. I feel like I don't... Yeah, am I bald? Oh, fuck, there's another goddamn... Yeah, there's another thing. No, oh, I forgot... No! Oh, I'm so not happy about this. Cover has been removed. Could Sybil have gotten to the amusement park from here? Oh, man. Do we have infinite ammo? We sure don't. I just pick up a lot. Hey, Sybil. Being sneaky. Her hair looks like a helmet. Oh, no! Welcome to the sewers part two, electric boogaloo, friends. I think this one's faster, though. I think this one's pretty quick. Look at, there's so many symbols. Hey, ya! Keep your hands to yourself, okay? Fuck. Good job, me. Great job, actually. Okay, gotta go down this hallway. Okay, where am I going? God! I'm trying to be good, and it's bad. I just went to the wrong side. Goddamn lizard people. Go away. Oh. Bodies. Some nice bodies. All right. And then I gotta go. Okay. We gotta go right and then left. Harold, please. Right. Oh no. Oh no. More of the weird children things. But they're different this time. More annoying. That was so loud, dog. Go away. Ew. Run, Harold. The sound is scary. There's things chasing you. Run, brother, run. Oh, hey. Some fucking... Oh, good. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, just don't go up the ladder. That's fine. <laughs> I don't actually think we're being chased, but terrible oh did she leave no i'm so sorry i don't know why hello 
No, the sir No, he fell! I'm so sorry, sweet friend. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Oh, God. You. No. Harry, stop missing. Jesus. Don't let them stab you in your ball sack again. They've already done too much. Anyways. <laughs> Hello? Oh, the frame rate. Oh, yes, baby. It's so beautiful. Guys, I'm gonna cry. Okay, so this is definitely gonna be a scary time. Hi, little penguin friends. Yeah. Don't stab me in the butthole, things. Alright, I'm really nervous because we... It gets so bad. Just don't look at it. Just don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't put it in your vision. <laughs> Me literally looking away from any and all moving parts in this game. Don't look. Don't look, Harry. Just don't look at it. Don't look at the carousel. Please. This makes this area way scarier. <laughs> but it's just me losing all my fucking progress and having to redo shit. Ha! Ah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, hey. Okay, here we go. Uh, there definitely, definitely should have been a save point before this, but I don't know where it is. I'm fairly certain that there should have been a fucking save point before this. Uh... Hopefully this doesn't break the game and hopefully my cut my things have I'm not I'm too scared to go back and look for it <laughs> I love this cutscene Hi Sybil Hi, Sybil. Uh-oh. Sybil don't look so good, guys. Uh-oh. She's just EP. Harry gets shot a second time. No, Sybil. And this is where you gotta use your water bottle full of liquid! I don't know why you have the brain thought to do this. And she has a weird little parasite crawl out of her back. Gross, gross. Sybil. Just like uh, the doctors and nurses have that Wake weird up. little thing. Snap out of it. Sybil. Also, she has like an open wound on her back then Harry. if it crawled out, right? <laughs> what happened? Shh, don't talk. I'll take care of you. Dude, the piano Harry. puzzle's my favorite. Why did they take your daughter? Why her? I'm not sure myself. But, you know, Cheryl isn't my biological daughter. <gasps> I actually haven't told her yet. She is still, like, just she a baby. She probably already knows anyway, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> we found her abandoned on the side of the highway. Nobody knew where she came from. Wild. We didn't have any kids of her own. My wife was sick. And it didn't look like she was getting any better. So we took Cheryl in. So in that case... There might be some connection between Cheryl and Harry signing on to be a single dad because he knew so that his wife who now? was dying wanted to have a kid. Cheryl Great. is my daughter. What a guy. I will save her no matter what. Harry, father of the millennia, bro. Harry Mason, the man that you are. <gasps> Hold on, let me just, I'm so scared. Oh, did I accidentally skip it? I will literally throw up. 
Oh no, it's I just starting a cutscene. <laughs> Hold it right there. Hold it right there. I don't know who you are or what you're trying to do, and I don't care. Just one thing. Let Cheryl go. That's all I ask. What? Oh, telekinesis. Get telekinesis, bitch. Get got, loser. I say as if I don't love this man with my whole being. And she put a force field up? What is this? The Triforce. <laughs> Some shenanigans are ensuing, chat. I cannot. <laughs> that is so dramatic, bro. Wild. Where's Cheryl? I don't own a Flaros, but I wish I did. Give me back my daughter. I got this though. We meet at last, Alessa. <gasps> Dahlia Gillespie? Where's Cheryl? Where is she? Alessa. This is the end of your little game. This music is wild. Mama? Huh? Could she be? You've been a ghastly little pest, haven't you, Alessa? Dolly? Yeah, Dolly is there. There for Thinking you couldn't escape from our spell. Uh-oh! But Mommy didn't know how much you'd grown. That's why I couldn't catch you all by myself. But what a pity, yes? Now you're half indebted to this man for his help. Hey, what are you talking about? Alessa, my dear little girl, there is one thing left I need you to do for me. No! Get away from me! Alessa's voice that acting good. gets me, bro. No! Get away from me! What's going on here? It's a miracle the game is alive still. <laughs> Hi, Lisa! Lisa? Girl! What's going on, babe? Lisa, what happened? Where's Alessa and Dahlia? Harry, listen. Okay. Something you said before has been bothering me. Mm-hmm. I just can't get it out of my head. What is it, Lisa? So I went to look in the basement. Even though I was scared as hell. Like you said, there were these creepy rooms. But nothing really unusual down there. But while I was down there, I got this weird feeling. Like I'd been there before. Like something happened there. But I can't quite remember somehow. What was it? Harry, help me. Don't do this. Oh my god, brother fucking bear. What was it? Okay. Harry, help me. I'm so scared. I can't take this. It's only a temporary thing. Yeah? You're in shock from when you were knocked out. Don't fret about it. You'll remember after a while. Harry is genuinely, no. like, pretty calming. You don't understand. Okay. <laughs> I Wait. lied. Where do you think you're going? 
She leaves. Remember, she was too scared to leave this room and now she's running around? That sound from down there, it's coming from the basement. Give me that, give me that right now. Yes! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> And if you saw the save file, we're in a place called Nowhere. Which is super fun, right? A place called Nowhere. That's cool. Because what the fuck? What this camera angle is nuts! Fuck! So cool. Al wants to leave so bad, but I think he's beating up his brother, I'm so being he's locked in here. What happened in this town? What could be making things like this? I have a feeling if I take the elevator down, I'll find it. Yup. I love motion sickness POV, yup. Cheryl. Cheryl. I'm sorry, we're genuinely so close to the end of the game. Like, the fact that it's crashing so much is making me so mad. This is the last area of the game. <laughs> the last area. You're so horrifying, little child. It's locked. The word phalag is carved on the door. So this is the hospital, but it's not. Because we go into this room, and it's the antique shop. Very interesting, huh? None of this stuff is any- Baby, there's literally bullets. Thank you, sweetie. Toto, hi! Let's save again, why not? Because this is like... Also, that clock looks weird. It's a key. I gotta get that glass cover, baby. Oh, oh, baby, where did you- Oh, no. Oh, get down. Get out of here! Get down. Get out of here. Get out of here. It's locked. That's fucking rude. Where an Ophiel is carved in the door. <gasps> oh god. Right. The basement. The sound is coming from the basement. <gasps> this is so cool. I love that the basement is just a classroom. Go home, thief. Drop dead. And then there's this room. And we get a screwdriver and a pair of pliers. I think that's like the only thing we can do in this basement. We were, we were in the school earlier in the game. So basically nowhere is an amalgamation of all of the areas that we've been to in the game. Um, but it is like the hospital is like the main like room, like main, like hub, the hub world, if you will, of everything. There's a key in the faucet. But I can't get it out, no matter how much I pull. Let's try to get some pliers, baby. That's not what I wanted. Why did you move so many times? Get him out, Harry! Let's go, Harry! Oh, you didn't just grab it? <laughs> Key of Ophiel is here. We did it. We did it, friends. We did it. Yanked him! I still don't understand why that. <gasps> the birdcage is locked. And look, there's a key in the birdcage and there's the sound of a bird now. But yeah, we found this birdcage earlier in the actual like hospital of the world. This is so weird. I'm sorry, I love this. I love, 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 love this, uh, this area a lot. This is like my favorite thing in this game. So we looked at this earlier um, and it just has, like, a list of everybody. Um, and then 
You just have to, you just get this, but it's just an order of oldest to youngest and it spells alert, which is creepy to me. It freaks me out. I don't like it. <laughs> Makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, but this, uh, this place has some, oh, no, no, no. No, I didn't. Do we really got to do this already, squad? No? Okay, no, it's this one. Sorry, I fucking forgot. I thought it was another another thing. Oh, it's not. Not yet. God bless. It looks just the exact same as another thing. That's fine. No, we do. Fuck. Harry, please. Lisa, what's the matter with you? I get it now. I am still alive, even though everyone else is dead. I'm not the only one who's still walking around. I'm the same as them. I just hadn't noticed it before. Lisa. Stay by me, Harry. Please. I'm so scared. Help me. Save me from them. Please. Also, Harry, this music is so pretty here. <laughs> Bro. Knocking was so loud, I thought it was from in my fucking house. Jesus. Jesus. Holy ballsack, that was so scary. <laughs> and then we get to go back in. I'm saving again. <laughs> no, I literally was did not sound like it was in the game. It sounded like it was coming from my microphone, which is why it freaked me out. There's a diary on the floor. Ask doctor to let me quit being in charge of that patient. It's too weird. Still alive, but with wounds that won't heal. Told the doctor I quit. Won't work at that hospital anymore. The room is filled with insects. Even with doors and windows shut, they get in to spite me. To the hospital. Feeling bad. Need to throw up, but nothing comes out. Vomiting only bile. Blood and pus flow from the bathroom faucet. I try to stop it, but it won't turn off. Need drug. Help me. It was from her basically spontaneously dying. Harry didn't like push her hard, like so hard that she smashed her head on the wall. She just like starts to bleed from everywhere. Like she starts to bleed and you can see like blood starts seeping through her dress. Like she just starts bleeding. <laughs> out of like everywhere. Anyways, so that's her diary. Was she alive? I, that's like the weird thing. I don't know. <laughs> but also the so fact that the song keeps playing, fucked up. I don't have a map of this place. Oh yeah, right. I forgot that I have to do this entirely mapless. Some shenanigans. If nasty. I had an intense, abrupt bout of dead wife disease. It's true. Okay, let's just start from the end. Oh, what's this say? Names engraved on a lithograph. The Grim Reaper's list. Yes, the head count is set. Young and old lined up in order of age. The pathway opens, awaiting them. The frenzied uproar. The feast of death. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, that's the puzzle solution.
All right, so this is a this is a puzzle that a lot of people fucking hate. So this is like zodiac signs, right? So I'm thinking something about like months of the year, something like that. What? Al, baby, I don't have enough time to be fucking with you right now, dude. I don't. Come here. No, don't hurt your brother, please, or I'll be fucking angry. <laughs> please, Jesus. Okay, so zodiac signs. So then you go up here. You want to know what the solution is? It's the amount of limbs they have. They did it with the Libra sign. The game gives you a clue, right? No? They just have these. Four, zero, two, and ten. Those are, those are the clues. That is what the clue is. But it's saying a scale has two, which, okay, fair, but that, the scale is like the weirdest thing. <sighs> it's so weird, dude. Yeah, like, I guess... It's so weird. A tail also does not count, no. Nope. But a scale does, guys. So... His arm and the scale. Yes, it, like, ah! Why does my game not have any sound? Oh, I love that the sound is broken now. That's really cool. <laughs> Fuck. Awesome job. The sound, you can hear it? How do you guys? You fucking. Sorry, my fucking, me getting Alphonse out of my fucking office muted my ability to hear my own fucking sound, which I genuinely don't know how it managed to do that. Cause it hit the tiniest green button that lets me hear things and it fucking fro- it crashed. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Can I please have a moment of peace, brother? For the love of God and also Jesus. I genuinely just want to live. Fuck off, please. Go away. I don't want to fucking deal with you right now. Go away, okay? Oh. Jesus Christ. It's just like, I don't understand. I was so nervous about today because I was worried about being stressed out because I have so much to do. And yeah, no, I'm f I'm stressed out. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so stressed out. Okay, we've done this. Please God. Okay, so now we have to go back to the the other spot. Um, it's pushing me to the goddamn limit, dude. I don't understand. What did I do wrong? <laughs> no. Shush, bird. No, here? Yes! Okay. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it. The stone of time. Get in there. Yeah, this game came out in 99. Angel, hey! Key of Haggith. Thanks. I got the Haggith key squad. Let's go. All right, love a little save. Get the fuck out of here. I would have um, absolutely quit for the day and started playing something else if um, I wasn't quick saving. Um, Haggith is the big one. Oh my god, lamp. Bam, bam. You could have played The Sims. I could have played The Sims, bro. I would not have, but I could have. Oh, good. Oh, goody. 
You know what? I'm tired of this, Grandpa. Come here, ma'am. Come here. Bye-bye. Oh. Come here. Oh. The fact that it's not just a... Oh. It's three shots with a pistol. And two with a shot... I feel like that doesn't seem right. <laughs> if I shoot you... Hey, look, this place. It's the shopping center. The Crest of Mercury. Um... Can you pick the fucking... Thank you. Well, the green dress ones are. Those ones specifically... Thank God. Uh, those ones specifically are usually two. Ah, this is so easy to miss. Jesus Christ. Ring of contract. That's so important. That's... Th without that stupid ring is the, uh, the way that I died for the very first time in this game. Horrible. Such a piss off, too. Oh. Go back the other way. Hey, Sage, but damn. damn. Is this the... No, but that's important as well. This stinky little camera. Stinky, stinky little camera. Everyone's making me feel old as shit. <laughs> oh, it's on the third floor. What I want. Hey, ladies. That was the wrong lady. Okay, so that was just one. Can you? Oh, you fucking. All right, you got him. Hello? This is just the steel plate that's screwed to the wall. See, the steel plate. Now we get to do something with it. It was like a red herring earlier, but we came back to do something about it. Oh no, it's the electric key. So I can't do anything about it right now. Because we will die electrocuting ourselves. And we don't want to die electrocuting ourselves, friends, right? We don't want that. That's no good. It's unlocked. <gasps> and now we can randomly go between the two fucking floors. Truly a shocking demise. It's the only ones in this chat. Yeah, of course. Oh, right. Shit, so it's not up here. Oh, I was gonna say, this doesn't sound as fucking terrible right now. Okay, so left triangle, backwards L, arrow left. Nope. Wrong. Uh. Sorry, shit, I'm doing it wrong. Stop, 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 there we go, and then... Arrow. Stop. I hate this music. It's so bad. It's just like someone screaming, but in- It's like someone screaming, but in nails on a chalkboard. Alright, this is where- I needed to be, thank god. They birdcage key, thanks. Um, I need to find that goddamn v uh, um, VCR. Go! Alright, and then this one. This one doesn't actually have anything in it because for some reason they removed it from this. I don't understand why they did. So house plus and then pyramid head. House plus and a little pyramid head looking to the right. Oh god, it's so bad. Stop. Why did that do that? Okay, Zoidberg. Jesus. Dunk, dunk. Get in there. This is the... Uh, there is a... Hold on. So, 
You used to be able to read this. I don't, you just can't anymore. This is the North American version. The North America, they removed the thing in here. There's literally nothing to read or do in this room. It used to have lore. It used to have lore. Hold on. God, I, I hate pausing it. Let me just see if I can find it. Silent Hill 1 removed. Third floor nowhere. Okay. Um, can I find it? Third floor. So the director's office. So it's only in the PAL and Japanese versions. So there's two things that you can get. You can get um, a book about White Claudia, and it is a plant indigenous to Silent Hill, and uh, the cult in town uses it to create a drug called PTV, and also possibly use it for White Chrism, which is in Silent Hill too. Um, but White Claudia is just a native plant. I actually, one, one of my first tattoos was almost the White Claudia plant from this book, but you can barely see it, so it'd be really hard to do. But, um, so, um, let me see if I can't find, yeah, so there's, there's that, it's just talking about that, but the other thing is the newspaper from seven years ago, which is the book on the ground. Um, also, is my audio getting really weird? I feel like my right ear is getting so strange sometimes. Okay. Sorry, friends. I'm reading. I'm reading it to y'all. Yeah, don't comment on anything yet. I am bringing up the mom. I have to. Um, so uh, the thing is, uh, the newspaper. Oh, the newspaper does not always appear. The exact conditions required to spawn it are unknown. So even in the like, Japanese and PAL versions, this newspaper doesn't always show up, which is very odd. Um, so it's sorry. It's on the desk. Um, but it says, uh, investigation stalled, PTV dealer still at large, suspicious deaths continue, blah, blah, blah. And that's like, like same thing. The thing that we found in, uh, Kaufman's motel. And like, are there others? It's pretty old. Fire broke out in town. Six homes destroyed. Charred body of Alessa Gillespie, seven found in aftermath. Cause of fire currently under investigation. Investigation shows source as basement of Gillespie home. Blaze now believed caused by malfunction of antiquated boiler. The date of the blaze. It's the same day we found Cheryl. Which is a very big fucking thing that I don't know why they took it out. That is an insanely big deal. <laughs> it is a very, very big deal. It's not in every load and it's not in the North American version at all. At all. It's not in this version at all. This room is useless in the North American version. It has a puzzle to get into and everything, and they have nothing in it. It's so weird. I don't understand. It's very odd. <laughs> I am close to the end of the game, yes. I goddamn wish I had a map though. Um, okay. So now I gotta go back through Mia. Nope. Mia. Cause this is, oh fuck, I, Jesus. This place is so confusing, dude. Okay, not that door. No. This is the, okay, this door is the birdcage door? Never mind, I'll just go fuck myself. Oh, this is the one I need to turn off the electricity for. Oh, I can't do that yet. Alright, let's try. This is the last area of the game. It's a little long, but we're in the last area. And I'm trying to save literally as much as possible, so just in case shit happens, it's not gonna completely fuck us over. Birdcage. Thank you. Excuse me? There you are. Jesus. Use the birdcage key. 
Well, the official localization is they still translated it for the PAL version, the Europe version. So that's the official translation. That's what the official localization is. Um, fair lag. Oh, good. I'm sorry. What? Why is the little the little kid hurting me? Oh no, he's just a shadow version of a knife bastard. Dare you? What the hell? I don't remember that at all. Oh god. Okay, hold. Okay, squad. Fun fact. So there's this sword here, right? The chain is missing a link. There's a dagger of not don't don't fucking take that. Don't fucking take that. Close that. Ring of contract. Now take the sword. The chain is fixed with the ring. Dagger monk. Yes. Emmy, thank you for the raid. I will take the dagger now. So, fun fact. If you take that sword without putting that ring on, you die instantly. There's a tentacle monster in there that grabs you, drags you into the fridge, and kills you. That's the very first time I died in this game. The first and, like, one of the only times. I've died, I think, twice in this game total the whole time- all the times I've played it, and one was that, and one was the stupid dog lizard eating me with the one-shot kill, uh, once. So, I got one-shot killed twice. Very fun and exciting. Stay fr yes. Yes. It's horrible. Also, I mean, how was your stream? I hope it was amazing. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome to Silent Hill 1. Let's got some jelly beans, guys. 39 flavors. Come on, Harry, open the jelly beans. Also, this game is really hard. I literally play on easy and it's still tough to kill all the enemies. Key of Bethor. Because all the enemies are the most aggressive in the entire universe. Genuinely wild. Um, oh, thank Christ, we're finally here. This is where I wanted to be. Okay, squad, are we ready? I'm so scared that this is going to crash it, but let's try. So we have that tape from before, right? We still have that videotape. We can watch the whole thing now. Are we ready? Doing a big... Oh, hell yeah, nice. Oh, it crashed in the pause menu, dog. There we go. What is it? Tape time. Still has an unusually high fever. Eyes don't open. Getting a pulse, but just barely breathing. Her skin is all charred. Even when I change the bandages, the blood and pus just start oozing through. Why? What is keeping that child alive? I can't stand it any longer. I won't tell a soul. Promise. So please. So... Uh, that was Lisa in charge of someone who, with that lore we picked up, uh, seems like it could have been Alessa. A burned body that won't heal, and it's a child, because she was seven. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that's fucked up. Okay, we got the key of Bethor. This is Bethor, right? Yo. She was just a random nurse that got sucked into all of this, my sweet friends. I would like to press the switch. Thank you so much. No elevators now. Because now we gotta go get that key. So, I don't think we find out any more about Lisa or anything. So I can give y'all Lisa's backstory now. Um, but Lisa, our sweet girl, is basically, um, she was a nurse who was addicted to uh, uh, PTV, is the drug? Yeah, whatever the drug in here, she was addicted to it. The director of the hospital, Michael Kaufman, knows this 
is probably the reason for it and takes advantage of it and basically gets her to do a bunch of things to get the drugs. And one of those things that he gets her to do in order to keep supplying her with those drugs is take care of Alessa. Because she's locked in the basement as like a secret. It's not like confirmed. I don't think like any sexual things, but it's like heavily like implied. Um, which is gross. But yeah. Oh my god, I have not cosplayed as Lisa, I wish. I don't, I don't really cosplay that much at all. Unfortunately. I wish I did more. I don't remember where the fuck I'm supposed to go for this. I literally like, <laughs> I do, this place sucks because you do not get a map ever because it's like just nowhere. It's like a hodgepodge of places. I think it was in Origins. I don't know, like I think yeah, but I feel like it just kind of also just kind of makes sense because Kaufman's kind of icky, nasty, pooey, gross man. Um. But yeah, I think that might be lore they gave in Origins, but um, so basically he just like uses her. That's why when, oh, fuck off. Um, I can't talk and find my way through this fucking place at the same time. Hold on. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, that's why when she says that she quits. Oh my God, where is this fucking room? That's so why when she says that she quits, she's like writing in her journal, her like absolutely wild withdrawal symptoms she's going through. I do not accept Origins as canon, literally ever. Dude, I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I'm lost as shit and I'm, it's making it worse because I know I have to be fast and it's just not happening. Oh my fucking God, I hate this gun. <laughs> just give me a map, babe, please. Here, oh my God, enemies. That means I'm going the right way. Don't fucking stab me, you shadow bastard. Yeah, I, the people who made Origins don't know, uh, don't understand this game at fucking all. This is the right way. There we go. There's a petition. I did not see that. I also didn't actually look at what their official names were. The Scepters? That's such a weird fucking name. Why? Why would they pick Scepters? That's so strange. Anyways, yeah, the people who made Origins don't understand this game at all. Um... Eritron. Where the hell is Eritron? Hello? Am I bald? Where the fuck is that? I don't remember where that key goes now at all. Holy shit. Stop it. A one remake would be really cool. Dude, I, sometimes I'm so good with this area. Others, I'm so bad. And today, this, today with everything that's happened is a uh, fucking, I have no idea where I'm going and I'm going to scream day. So that's really cool. Stop. Oh, don't touch me, you fuck. Also, uh, Silent Hill 2 is getting a remake because it's the most popular one. It's not about needing a remake. It's about how well it would do financially, basically. But also, I don't really want them to remake this because, I, yeah, I don't know if they do a good job. Is this not where I just... I don't... Dude, I fucking... Oh, I think I missed a room down in the bottom area. Now I don't remember how to get back. Oh, I can't stand this. <laughs> I don't like feeling lost. Man, my Silent Hill 1 playthroughs are usually so much better. This like fucking crashing has ruined it so much for me. It's so difficult. This is making me so genuinely sad because I feel like I'm just so lost now and my brain will not run. I'm so close to the end and I think it's making it worse. I genuinely think it's making it fucking worse. Now I've never had any issues either until today. So I don't know what's wrong. 
I don't... Why can't I remember where the fuck to go? Where did I go to the basement? How did I get to the weird basement room? I don't goddamn remember, dude. It's, like, driving me insane. It also doesn't help that every single hallway is genuinely exactly the same. Felix, hell yeah. D I don't know what I'm... Mm. I'm... Hmm. A large part of me wants to just try to do this another day. Because <laughs> I keep going in the same doors because I'm lost. Oh no, I just need to shut up. I'm not going to talk for a while. I missed some shit down here. <laughs> really rough, dude. Floors and walls are covered with graffiti. So she was locked in rooms and drew on everything. One of those walls said help, by the way. I don't know why I literally immediately just left here. It's such a weird th thing for me to have done. I literally, I don't know why I just immediately left. It's fine. Anyways, this is fun, right? Look at this. This room. There are specimens of butterflies and moths hanging on the wall. That's why I wore moth earrings yesterday, because Alessa loves moths. Sketchbook. Child's drawings are scattered on the floor. Pictures of old fairy tales. Hooray. It's locked. Thou, po uh, thou possess them to guard thy spirit. Evoke five rights. Unveil thy fate. Y'all, we literally have like, like a half hour left of this game. Six, maybe seven. Must be a kid about that age. Six or seven years old. She was seven in that fire. Um... This is error, to error, error, whatever the balls. Here Everything we go. is going according to plan, sheltered in the womb. But it's not done yet. Half the soul is lost. That is why the seed lies dormant. And what soul remains captured in that husk? is buried deep down in the subconscious. Are you trying to say it won't work? That wasn't our agreement. No, no, these are just stalling tactics. If we lend a hand, we will be able to get power. Never fear, the promise shall not be broken. But the power we could draw now will be very weak. Almost nothing. Unless we get the other half of the soul. We'll use a magical spell. Feeling this child's pain, it's sure to come. But that will take time. So pretty fucked up. We're starting to gather a little bit more of a picture of what happened, maybe. Of uh, so it was a thing that was done on purpose. And they were trying to plant a seed in her. That's hey, what's up? Welcome on in. And I believe. We're like done now. I left the yeah, okay, this way. Sorry. Um, I think we've got everything, to be honest. Oops. I'm starting to get bad vibes. Just starting to? Damn, alright. <laughs> I think. Think, think, think we're okay. Can we go? Thank you. 
If I'm correct, we're gonna do this with plenty of time to spare, brother. Hmm. I would not, giraffe. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm an empath. I feel like they're up to no good. True. One, two, three, four, five. Yes! Oh my god, we did it. Holy shit, dude. Oh. I didn't realize this part was timed. Oh, it's not timed. I'm timed. I have something important to do at three. That's, that's what's happening. I am timed. The game is not timed. Yes, we're going on the front page for a sponsored stream at three o'clock. The dagger of Melchior. We save. Let's go. Come, come alone. No. No, I don't want to. Do what mommy tells you now. Just want you to lend me a teeny bit of your power. That's all. No. I don't want to do it. It will make everyone happy. And it's for your own good, too. Oh, but Mommy, I just want to be with you. Just two of us. Please understand. Oh, yes, I see. Maybe Mommy has been wrong. Mommy! Why didn't I see this before? There's no reason to wait. Herein lies the mother's womb, containing the power to create life. I could have done it all myself. Mommy? So now we're in their house. Going down to their basement. Oh, good. Cool pictures. Good job. I love it. I just saved. Is it timed? It feels like it might be. But I did just save, so it's fine. We're just gonna have to do this every time, my dude. See, I wish that that's what her realization was. Also, that line is genuinely also odd because I feel like there's some, uh, once we finish the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get in there, Harold. Again. Feels inconsistent, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's more common now that I've changed a setting, but it doesn't matter. We're so close to the end, I can just fucking do it. I was shocked to realize the talisman of Metrotron was being. So there is actual Alessa back there in her little wheelchair. In spite of the lost soul returning at last. Just a little longer, and all would have been for naught. It's all because of that man. We must be thankful to him. Even though Alessa has been stopped, his little girl has to go. What a pity. <laughs> Freeze! <laughs> She's been talking for so long, Get Sybil. Dahlia. Well, well, well. To think you'd make it this far. Where's Cheryl? What have you done to her? What are you talking about? You've seen her many times restored to her former self. I'm in no mood for jokes. Don't you see? She's right there. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. You are the only one who thinks so. Why? 
Why are you doing this? It's been a long seven years. For the seven years since that terrible day, Alessa has been kept alive, suffering a fate worse than death. Alessa has been trapped in an endless nightmare from which she never awakens. He has been nurtured by that nightmare, waiting for the day to be born. He. Great. That's really cool. That day has finally come. The time is nigh. Yes, because something that is nurtured with pain and Everyone hatred will be is really good. From pain and suffering. Our salvation is at hand. This is the day of reckoning. A reckoning. When all our sorrows will be washed away. So Dahlia's in the cult. If you didn't realize that already. Paradise. Get fucked. <laughs> hey, Kaufman! So yeah, if you don't save Kaufman and he dies and he doesn't show up for this, um, yeah, you can't do anything and you're locked into one of the bad endings. You need Kaufman for the good endings at all. If you don't save Kaufman, you have the bad or bad plus ending. I love when the music is so loud. Bet you can't see this. <gasps> so much drama. I love it. A glaphitus. A glaphitus. I got rid of that. All I had to do was plant it somewhere for you to find. You all went out and kept you busy. Ha, ah, you're easy. And there's more where this came from. You don't scam a scammer, bitch! Stop it! Kaufman, ultimate skis ball! <laughs> you can't out slime Kaufman! He's the slimiest bitch in this town. In this slow mo. Slow mo fucking. <laughs> so dramatic! It's so good! Get her! Right in the face! I know, the voice acting with the pauses is so wild. Huh? What the? Oh, God, this music is so bad. It's God. That looks like God, right? Who gave the mosquitoes slide whistles? And then immediately just completely rocks Dahlia. So good. Oh boy, here we go, guys. Oh, I'm gonna heal up a little. Do one of these. Do one of these. Get shit on. Oh, fuck. Ow. Yes, Harold. Yeah, that hurts. I know. We're all right, Harold. Ow. Hold on, Harold. Let's just make sure we're good, shall we? I'm just gonna tank it. Yeah. Woo! We did it, Joe! Happy Silent Hill one day, everyone! We can
chilled, weird, not fully cooked fetus god. Banana, you unfortunately did. I'm so sorry. Hello, Alessa. I love this POV. Alessa POV. Itty bitty baby POV. There's the baby. She says, get the hell out of here. Go the do the terrible do's again. Yep. Hey, Lisa. This is my favorite part of this ending. He doesn't get away with that shit. Absolutely not, bitch. She says, uh, 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 uh. You get to eat shit with me, sir. Which I think is art. Art. He had it coming. He ran into her knife. He ran into her knife 10 times. I watched it happen. This music is so pretty. I love it. Goodbye. I don't know why this ending is genuinely making me cry more than it, it like it makes me want to cry and I don't think it ever really has before because it's like he's just leaving his daughter to like die in this building basically even though it's like her soul it's a weird it's some weird astral projection soul projection shit but we beat Silent Hill 1, and I have so much to tell you guys about now. <laughs> we have so much to talk about, about what the hell is happening. Look at that. We beat it with an hour to spare, even with all the crashes. Let's go, brother. So, fun fact, the first boss in the game, the dog, there is someone that is covered in, like, like a like a, basically a straight jacket head to toe and is on fire and in the very beginning that is Alessa when you in the middle of the room I think it's supposed to be Alessa watching you fight that dog yeah that's in Silent Hill 3 Irish um but god It's such a, yeah apparently because like that's um a thing it sh it, like that model looks so much like the model of Alessa in the wheelchair at the very end that a lot of people I think I don't know if it's fully confirmed but a lot of people think it's supposed to be Alessa because there's no other reason that that would be like that because all of the other enemies in the game don't have the same exact vibe as that um but yeah so basically the cult in town um I'm pretty sure they like paid Kaufman because Kaufman does not give a fuck. Kaufman just wants power and money. And I don't really think he gives a general shit about the cult stuff. Um, but they basically used him to house Alessa post burn in the hospital to keep her a secret. And I'm pretty sure they told the rest of the world she just died. Like Alessa died. She bit it, unfortunately, in that fire, which 
makes sense because she was burned real badly. Um, but what they did end up doing in that fire is um, they impregnated her with a spell, like a ritual, um, to be impregnated by, like, with God. And um, this is when it goes back to how, when I said yesterday about how the first Alien movie and this game have a lot of symbolism in common, um, because there's a lot of, like, parasite symbolism, um, like, kind of taking over and stuff. And, oh, hey, look, it's Sybil, it's Sybil and Harry with the baby. Um, yeah, it's kind of like the parasite that is, like, the fetus that she is, like, Oh, this is cute. Hold on. There's like a little blooper reel at the very end of the game, too, which I think is cute because it's a pretty heavy ending. Like it's all it's all actors, guys. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. It's so cute. I fucking love this song. Also, reminder to everyone, I don't think I said it yet in this playthrough, but they, all of the FMVs in this game were made by one dude. And so he made all the FMVs and maybe, I guess, just to have fun, just made a bunch of goofy, goofy bloopers. Anyways, this one's great. There's Alessa. <laughs> I'm all good. <laughs> Bless. Yeah, he didn't trust anybody else to do it right, so he literally lived at the office and slept under his desk to make these FMVs. Bless him. And there's Dahlia. This one's great. Unless it was seven. Look at that man. That's my dilf right there. Let's go, Harry! Harry Harold Mason. That's my man right there. Alessa was burned in the fire when she was seven. I read it in the newspaper. And Cheryl was also um, seven. And then it crashed. You know what? We don't need that. You know why? Because I can just talk here and put the song on. Perfect crash time. I don't give a shit about anything else. Let's go. Uh, we have much to talk about, though. Um, yeah, brother. Let's go. Okay. Sweet friends. Crashes can no longer hurt us. We beat the game. How do I feel about the first Silent Hill movie? I love it a lot. I love it a lot. I think it's so fun. I think it's goofy and fun. <gasps> Tomatoes, thank you! Okay. Um, so I, um, ha there's like some theories and stuff that we went into last time we played that I want to like start off with. So first off, obviously, Dahlia is horrific. A terrible, terrible mother, right? Absolutely horrible, disgusting person. Um, and my brain, hold on. Um, but she like basically looked like she had like no actual maternal attachment to Alessa. She basically used her from like birth for nefarious purposes, like for the cult, right? Like it was always like Alessa had like powers which is like also why she was bullied. Like Alessa was always like powerful. Like she always had some powers. And so that's why in the cutscene, Dolly is like, I just need a little bit of your power. Um, and that's very weird, but um, I'm looking for this reference. Okay. So in the Silent Hill three strategy guide the like official like silent hill three like brady game strategy guide um drop the craziest lore ever that i didn't know about until last year in 
the time-related events. So basically, it's like a synopsis of things because Silent Hill 3 is a continuation of Silent Hill 1, right? The story continues and Silent Hill 3 is that story. It says that Alessa was created through magical conjuration. The Order created Alessa. Guidebooks. I mean, it. if you believe that, it makes a lot of things make sense. Like, Giraffe, I saw you say this scene doesn't make sense. Nobody knows why this scene exists. But if you think they created Alessa, Dahlia not having a single ounce of maternal attachment to her makes a lot more sense. Her knowing that she has powers, Alessa having powers to begin with makes sense. Um, and like D Dahlia for some reason being like, oh, like I like she would have been like, obviously she can create life, right? Like if she created Alessa, like as a, you know, with her own shit, but she didn't, right? I mean, some people are just jerks who shouldn't have kids. I know, but I mean, like, there's a lot of things pointing to this not being weird. Dahlia's shown using actual magic. I, yeah. And I feel like you're just proving my point. The cult literally created, like, the seed of God, right? So, what, this is another thing. So, this is another point that is it does it, i don't really want to get into because it spoils silent hill 3 a lot um however it is like say that like alessa was born with like the seed of god in her created with that and we're going to circle back to that uh and during silent hill 3 because I'm, it just makes fucking sense, dude. It just literally makes sense. Because like it's slight spoilers, but it doesn't really like super duper matter. Like the baby that we take is the protagonist in Silent Hill 3, right? Um, so yeah, so basically it's like say, say that like Eliza was like born pregnant. So basically they wanted her to go through a bunch of like pain and suffering to nurture the god fetus thing um to b give birth to god which is why like she didn't need to like like um dahlia in that scene was like trying to like take a bit of like the power to like just like get alessa's like powers to be stronger or whatever but then she's kind of like i don't need to wait we can just do this like now and like did like the ritual thing and then just let her sit in pain forever and just like and when her soul split, because it was, like, basically, I think, Alessa trying to, like, stop it, um, they made her in more pain. <laughs> um, and I think her, like, in a bunch of fucking pain. Um, so, yeah, so, this is, okay, let me read the strategy guide, because it literally talks about Dahlia, too. It's, like, in her cruel mind, Dahlia realized she did not need the child at all. She just needed the power within her. So she basically locked her in a room and set the house on fire. Locked her in the basement and set the house on fire. She's like, I don't fucking need you. I just need the power that's in you. And then, um, I guess during the fire, her half her soul escaped and taking like half of the God with it. So they had to like put her in the fucking hospital. Um, so yeah, so they're in the, she was like in the storage room in the basement of the hospital and and then they waited for the second half of her soul to come back and that's why they said it's going to take a while because it took another like um another few like another seven years because like when alessa's soul split she became a little baby again um and so then they raised her and then Cheryl just turned seven last month. And I think because Cheryl became the age that Alessa was when she was like sacrificed, she was drawn to Silent Hill. So basically they went to Silent Hill because Cheryl wanted to go. For some reason, Cheryl was drawn to the town and Harry being a good dad's like, okay, you want to go here? Let's go here. Um, 
But yeah, Cheryl's age is incredibly important. So that's what ended up happening. So basically, like, the moment that we watched Cheryl walk off into the fog in the beginning of the game was the last time Cheryl was Cheryl. And basically, immediately after that, she merged again with the, like, projection of the remaining half of Alessa's soul. Who was who we saw running around. Because they merged back together to be one. You're playing these games. Right, you're in the synthesis franchise. Let's go! Hell yeah. But anyways, Silent Hill 3 expands a lot on the cult stuff. Um, but yeah. House was set on fire. No. They literally set her on fire. That is like... I'm pretty sure very canonical factual things is that Dahlia, the cult, literally sacrifices her. Like, it's never not a, like, she is sacrificed. It's not like an accident. It's people say it was an accident because nobody wants to say that these people tried to murder a seven-year-old. It was literally, they did it on purpose. They set her on fire on purpose in every canon. Alessa was set on fire on purpose. On fire on purpose. Also, yeah, Silent Hill 1 and 3 always reminds me of how much of the horror genre is stupid in feminine experience and fears. Yes. Oh, God, yes. Also, we'll circle back to it, but, um... Oh, was Silent Hill 3 it was something about being on, like, the... Like, the, like, Republican game list or something? I... Like, the shit that I'm getting from the book is only that she was created. Everything else I've, like, known from just canonical shit. Myself. The game, yeah, the, the, like, the list of, like, non-political games. And I'm like, what are you talking about, brother? That is so, what? Such a good genre of fun. It's very true. Yes. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. Oh yeah, I think I I missed picking up something. I think in like the no, like nowhere classroom, I think there was something like at like a desk or something. Um, but uh, there's a thing you could pick up that I, at that time, obviously I was just terrified the game was gonna crash a thousand times. So I wasn't looking for anything super extra, but you can pick up a note from Kay Gordon, the teacher who's like, he we got at the beginning and everything, right? And it said, there's a girl named Alessa in my class. If your memory is any good, you may remember her. She's the one I said they called a witch. Most likely her mother is abusing her. I've never seen her come in without some sort of scrape or bruise. Her expression is pitifully dark for a six-year-old. And that's what the teacher said, trying to report something to someone else about Alessa to try to help, which I think is why, like, um, we get, like, Kay Gordon's key to, like, go through. It's like, oh, this is the person who helped me, whatever, right? Um, or tried to help. Anyhow, um... Yeah, it's very much like canon that Dolly, like, abuses um, Alessa and is a horrible person. But yeah, she was bullied a lot in school because she had little powers. Everyone called her a witch. They scribbled all over her desk. Blah, 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 blah. Um, but yeah. <sighs> I'm trying, I'm reading really quick. Basically, yeah, so the teacher lodged like a formal complaint and it went, of course, to Kaufman and some other stuff too, I believe. That's in the origins, but like, I mean, from the thing from Silent Hill 1, it looks like she was trying to actually help and then it didn't go anywhere. But yeah, um, it's really genuinely weird how Silent Hill Origins does a lot of weird shit. Um, with the stuff. Like, with the lore. Was Lisa the nurse in Silent Movies turns her back? Oh, uh, yeah, Lisa is the nurse in the movie. Yes. And her nails shake up in the hospital when she mentions Lisa being distant, but kind and giving her a birthday gift. 
Oh, well, yeah, I just want to cry. Yeah, I feel like there's more shit in... Um... Excuse me. Yeah, Lisa gave Alessa a diary to write her thoughts. Hmm. Interesting. Games get a bit weird. I, oh yeah, no, the later games get weird. And I hate how some of the later games try to go back and retcon stuff in this one. It's very odd. It's very odd. Um, God, there's a lot of lore. I feel like I need to write like proper lore for myself to remember. <gasps> Jaden, you did, we did finish Silent Hill 1. Thank God, I was worried that we might not be able to. But anyways, so going back to like the endings and stuff. So the good endings that you can only get with Kaufman by throwing the Aglophytus onto um, Alessa. Um, Alessa is actually the final boss if you get a bad ending and you actually have to fight her. And she's called the Incubator, which is so fucking gross. Hate that a lot. Um, and the boss that you actually fight is called the Incubus um, in the good endings. Yeah, her boss form is called the Incubator. Because, I mean, it's sh what she is, unfortunately. She's a glorified incubator, which is so gross and messed up. But, yeah. Why did that song stop? Give me more song. Um. But, yes, there's that. Bulge. I have more. Um. But, yeah, the bad, the, the worst ending you can get um, is you don't save Sybil. Um, and you don't save Kaufman. And Harry... Uh, it shows Harry um, dead or, like, unconscious in his car. I think dead is, like, what people tend to think it is um, after the car accident. Like, he actually died in the car accident um, or went into a coma. And he's just sitting there in his Jeep in the snow. And that's, uh, that's the worst ending you can get. The bad plus ending is when Sybil's there and she drags you out because y you don't leave. And that's when you end up like dying is like, you don't try to leave and you just let like the fire like take you because Sybil's not there to take you out. You don't have a baby to save, you're just alone. Because when you kill um, the incubator, you don't get that baby. The baby only shows up because um, you killed like the incubus and not Alessa. Uh, so yeah, you don't get a baby in any of the bad endings. Um, so the bad, no, the good ending straight, just not good plus just good, is considered um, canon, I think, where you don't save Sybil. Um, just because Sybil doesn't show up again, straight up. Um, but either one could be, but the good ending is the canon ending, where you get the baby. Yeah, it's a whole, yeah, the, the death dream. Yep, yep, yep. Right. Oh, hell yeah, Ark, let's go. I want to dust off my Fatal Frames. Oh, sugar. Fatal Frame absolutely ruins me. Fatal Frame is so hard to play for me because it scares the hell out of me. It ruins me a lot. Why? Why? Why do you say these things? Also, that's not even true, but why would you say these things? All caps. No spoilers. Stop. Oh my god. I... I'm going to scream. That is so, like, I, that, it, mm. <sighs> It's fine. I almost banned you because it was faster. Because I was so afraid of that being in chat for too long. My god. Um, Holge. Uh, I'm 
I'm trying to find out some more lore. Also, I love Fatal Frame 2. I have a full playthrough of that on my YouTube channel. Hmm. Hold. Yeah, I don't know. This is so strange. Yes, we are. I'm very excited. So yeah, next week we're going to start three. Um, and also the Incubus of Final Boss is definitely like hella hella inspired looks wise by uh, Baphomet <laughs> with like a goat head and wings and like no like center like stomach wild. Very interesting. Um... And, and titties, of course, and the titties. Okay. Also, in... I think this is actually a very big deal. I'm looking at the trivia for the final boss now, the Incubus, and there's a translation error in the scene before the battle. In the Japanese version, which is the original, which is a Japanese game, um, Dolly refers to the entity inside Alessa not as God, but as her savior. Which I think is important. <laughs> it's like a religious figure kind of thing. Not necessarily God, but like, kind of. It's like, it's, it's God and her savior is like very similar, but just different enough that is important to talk about. Um... It is a pretty big distinction, yes. Since you wonder the intention of the story seems much clearer. I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, I feel like I might don't It doesn't say anything on the wiki about it, and the wiki is usually pretty good. Let's look at the trivia, see if there's anything cool in there. Ah, yes. Trivia! Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um. Um, oh god. Oh yeah, so it's like there's a misconception that people believe that Alessa's heightened stress levels made her psychic energy cause a boiler explosion in the Gillespie house. And that's just like a theory and it's not confirmed. And the fire article just says that it they think that it was the boiler that caused it and not that it was actually a boiler that caused it. Um, and also, I just want everyone to know this is actually really important. It was so planned that Alessa would be in this fire that Kaufman had a substitute dead body left at the scene. So they thought that Alessa was dead because they had a dead body. So I don't think the fire was an act. It was a very planned affair. <laughs> like, they, they burned that little girl on purpose. <laughs> like, they burned that little girl on purpose, dog. And then they hid her in a basement of a hospital. Yeah. It's fucked up. Very horrible. Very weird. That's a thing that did happen. Yes. looking more so for things there is also the belief that Alessa is evil I don't think Alessa is evil no 
What? People think that Alessa's evil? I don't think that at all. I think that... Yeah, she's A, a child. And B, there's just... I don't think so. I feel like I can't talk too much about this until we beat Silent Hill 3. After Silent Hill 3, we will have a the deepest of dives on Alessa Gillespie. Okay? We will have the deepest of dives. That's why I find it really, really hard to talk after Silent Hill 1, because it's not done. The story's not finished. The story is half finished. <laughs> like, we get so much more in Silent Hill 3. So much more. We really need to just play it, which we'll do next week. Easy peasy. We will do it next week. It'll be great. Dana Rich Robot back. That's, that's fine. We can do that. But I... Not <clears throat> eventual destroyer or something I don't think so I feel like I don't think 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 makes her evil if I was locked in a basement and burned alive and then locked in a, ho a hospital basement being forced to be in excruciating pain for seven years yeah I'd probably want to kill a motherfucker as well I don't know I think that's valid silent Hill one and three in my eyes yes <laughs> Origins is technically also related to Silent Hill 1 as a prequel that takes place seven years before Silent Hill 1. But it retcons a lot of shit. Um, 4 is the most connected to Silent Hill 2 than anything, in my opinion. Silent Hill 2 does, yes. Silent Hill 4 makes multiple references to Silent Hill 2, though, like a lot. Like the an the main antagonist is from Silent Hill 2. Um, the James's dad is in Silent Hill 2. Mary and Laura's nurse is in Silent Silent Hill 4. Sorry, I'm saying 4. I mean 4. James' dad's in Silent Hill 4. D Mary and Laura's nurse is in Silent Hill 4. The main antagonist that is in Silent Hill 2 is in Silent Hill 4. Um, and that's, it, it's just like, eh. Let's go. Hey, Catalyst, let's go. Oh my God, hold on. Also, hey, Catalyst, congrats on absolutely nothing. Also, Razor, it was great. We actually did it. I'm very happy. Four is deeply connected to... Yes? It is. Yes. It is connected. I would say not as much as Silent Hill 3, though. Silent Hill 3 is like all about the cult and silent hill 4 is a byproduct of that cult how many times in the last two hours of the game don't even ask questions that'll be painful for me to answer <laughs> a lot dude it's the worst i feel like that's the worst ending to a silent hill one playthrough i've ever had it's so fucking heartbreaking i will absolutely not be playing silent hill 4 i fucking can't stand it dude it's so sad i hate the second half it's the worst experience Hell yeah. Let me hop in for the day. Hey, else have a beautiful day. I'm actually going to go to the bathroom real quick and then I'm going to start setting up some stuff for the uh, sponsored stream since I have a few things to do um, in the next half hour. And then I think I'm just going to get into Subnautica a little early, maybe. Um, just so I can be doing stuff when we get launched to the front page. Um, I believe, but we'll see. I'm connected to the story of one and three. What is the point it makes more like an anthology? I have no idea. Like, maybe? I literally don't know. I don't know why Silent Hill 2 isn't connected. Why is Silent Hill 2 standalone? Yeah, why though? I would love to know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. I would love to know why. Okay, play again. Damn it. I have, oh. Silent Love's gonna be wild. Yeah, I have no idea. They, they just wanted to do psychology. I don't know. Psychological. I don't know. That's a great question. But yeah, I'm gonna BRB real quick. I just gotta pee real quick. And I'll be back. <laughs> 